This preschool is a partnership between the Cole Family YMCA, located in Kendallville, and Mary Lee. And the preschool in the morning is housed at Central Noble Primary School. The students go there uh, for drop off and they spend the morning there with the YMCA teachers. And then each afternoon, those students are bused out to Mary Lee and they spend the afternoon at the outdoor classroom, again, with the Y teachers and also with a Mary Lee environmental educator. Every morning we start our day with a community circle where the children have an opportunity to um, pick jobs for two weeks. So today we were picking our jobs. Um, then the rest of the two weeks in our community circle um, will remind the children of their jobs. Community circle is an opportunity for um, us to greet each other. Students walked around the room greeting each other. Good morning, Millie. Good morning, Wyatt. Good morning, Millie. Good morning, Miss Walters. Our hope is that the children will be learning that they are part of a community and that in a community everyone has jobs to do to help each other out and to support each other. The philosophy of the program is designed to give students experiences outdoors. We're a place-based program and so that means that just by virtue of the fact that they're walking out to the outdoor classroom every day of the school year, they're going to be noticing seasonal changes. Things like ice forming on the pond that first time it happens in the winter or leaves starting to come out here in the spring. And so we want them to be able to explore those kinds of phenomena that are happening in the natural world. And we also know that they're learning valuable life skills through the play that they do in the outdoor classroom. I think it's super valuable for them to have the opportunity to move their bodies, to be able to freely move in big ways. Young children really need that kind of large motor, large gross motor kind of activity. And this is a perfect place for them to do it. It's a chance, it, it gives them plenty of space to move, to be away from others if they want to, to interact with other peers and classmates if they want to do that instead. Our teachers participate in an extensive amount of professional development. Um, we work with a child development expert and monthly we meet and study child development and then we also do monthly observations where the, the mentor and myself come in and observe the teachers and then we meet um, just to kind of go over those observations so the teachers can continue to work on um, you know their interactions with the kids. Our program is really designed with the students at the center and so everything that we're doing is tied back to research. Research about development, about how children learn, research about the outdoors and how that can be integrated into their education, um, research about pedagogy or how we do education and the why behind we might make certain choices. Landon, can you help me measure? Yeah. Will these go through all the way? Yep. No, no. Not quite. And it may look like, um, well, chaos or managed chaos, kind of depending on the day. Um, but behind that is a very careful kind of educational approach. And so what we're doing is trying to find an appropriate level of risk for those students so that they can learn how to navigate that risk um, and build uh, what we call risk competency. Climbing and working on their shelters and things like that helps them learn to recognize risk, recognize what can be safe and what isn't necessarily safe, so that they are less likely to hurt themselves as they continue to grow. They, they are learning the skills of checking and of understanding for themselves what can be safe for them. We're really trying to model that excellent research-based approach to education so that we can describe to people how we're doing this in a very thoughtful and intentional kind of a way. Another piece of it for me is trying to help them understand that, that they, we, all of us as humans are a part of nature. We're a part of the world too, we're not separate from it and so I would like them to gradually start to really internalize that. As part of being a place-based program, that means the students get really in tune with the environments that they're walking through uh, on an everyday kind of a basis. And so we find that nature provides an irresistible invitation for learning. 